you. Go. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy UT Corn, man. Mm -hmm. Sit down and drink with your boy. DWYB. So the first question I ask everybody that rap, how old you at? 25. So, what was the first CD or tape you bought? He came up with the tape, bro. Uh, it was Jesus. Young Jesus. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Young Jesus, man. I'm full of that nigga. So, December 26, I had dropped called One. Now, I'm working on a project called Wild Summer. You know what I'm saying? Each time I come out with shit, it's gonna be dealing with dealing with the seed. You know what I'm saying? And then I got a, I got a video coming up for March the 14th, a video shoot. For, you know what I'm saying? What would you do for me? But it's off the project of Cold One. Then I got wait, I got South by Southwest coming up for the 21st. Yeah. You you ever been to South by Southwest before? Uh, when I was by shit, 19. Oh yeah, I was. It was cool, man. I ain't gonna lie. I like that album. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Once you went down, that was some CDs. Oh uh, yeah, I, I was signing my first label, Bobby J. You know what I'm saying? I was signing my first label. They had a download card for me to pass out to the people. I ain't get to perform, but I mean, shit. I just took it in. So, King, what was the first rap CD you ever bought? Take mine was. It was a little one of the set tapes. It was like a Tupac tape. Oh yeah, what was the name? Oh, uh, I forgot. I don't know, it was the one with California Love. Uh -oh. I don't yeah. know, I just remember that song. Oh, man, it came from a whole different time. Yeah. 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 So what you what you what you got coming out? What you working on? I mean, we pretty much just like working on this mixtape where we just freestyling. I mean we ain't really got no name for it. It's pretty much just like a freestyle tape. Yeah. So look, yeah. check this out. Check this out. <laughs> with all the with all the uh young artists that's tragically being killed at a young age. You know what I'm saying? We got Pop Smoke, we got uh, Juice World, we got the dude from Fort Worth just got killed the other day, Channel 5, Jay the Hood. Yeah, Jay, yeah. What's the news you got that some of these artists can use coming to this rap game? I mean, protect yourself at all times. Like, I mean, because if you putting yourself on that mainstream like that, you're going to have people coming up to so it's up to you to protect yourself and make sure you're surrounded by people that's going to be loyal to you. Because if not, they'll be the ones that get you. I mean, just tread light. You know what I'm saying? Just tread light, man. Watch who you surround yourself with. You know what I'm saying? And pray. Pray. For real. If you don't pray, man, if you don't believe in that man, hey, man, for real, something going to happen. You gotta have faith at the utmost time. I don't even go to church, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I got faith in that man. Yeah, Real yeah. shit. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So with the with the with the way the rap game work right now, all you gotta do is just really just upload your music and just put it out there, you know what I'm saying, and, and drop a hit. What's some of the, you know, strategy, strategic moves, you know, y'all got to make that you can put out right now that you know, you know people gotta expect. Like, we still do it the old way. We drop a mixtape, print up CDs, and stand in front of the stores, and people still buy it. Like, we make like two, three hundred dollars a day just by doing that. Like, people support us out here. Like, we like we upload it, but like, we really like out here still selling like CDs. Like, we'll drop a mixtape, print up a hundred CDs, and go out and sell them, and then we'll be selling them for like two, three weeks. So, I mean, like, it's just like we hustling on the outside, we got internet, you know what I'm saying? Merch just trying to find different ways to, to get out there. You know we just pretty pretty much trying to put the brand out there, like individually and like as a team. Like we come up with different ideas like on our own, we promote that, but then we come up with something like as a team to where uh, we all still eat at the end of the day. Hey, where y'all record at, bro? Oh, man, Frank, Frank Nitty. Nitty. You know what I'm saying? Frank Nitty. It's the boy right there, man. Frank Nitty got that sound on what? All what? the songs. I've been going to that nigga since I was 18. Yeah, he got yeah. I've been going to that nigga since I was 18. That nigga got that sound. I recorded my first song at first Frank Nitty. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. Well, I take it. I take it like this. That was the first. Real studio I ever recorded. To where he can get anybody sound. Like, he can make anybody sound good. Yeah, yeah. Have y'all been listening to any people on Juvenile's music? 
Y'all ain't never heard of Fifth Ward Juvenile? I heard of Fifth Ward Juvenile. I never listened to him. Yeah, I ain't never ain't listened to him. So. Y'all recording with a legend. Yeah. Don't even realize. But like, realize yeah. it. Like, we realized it after we started recording with him. Like, I mean, you know, you go do your research, go on YouTube, look up stuff, and then you like, oh, damn. He really got a, a he pretty good told the story and shit. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? this, though. It's, it's like a, it's a disconnect between older rap cats in Houston and the younger rap cats in Houston. I've seen it. I don't know it in the streets, you know, what's the connection, what's the vibe really like. But how do y'all feel about the older generation not giving back or it, are they giving back or are they even giving up any game or real game? Helping the youngsters try to, you know, help their music. To be honest, I feel like they are. Like, because, like, you got older rappers that get younger rappers and put them under their wing for, like, look at, like, Jade out. He got this little young SA cat, I think his name is Young Easy or something like that, and he blowing up. Like, they, I feel like they doing their part. They find somebody that's hungry enough and they support them. I feel like you just gotta be hungry enough to get their support. Because if they feel like you lazy and you ain't gonna do it, why would they support you? Yeah, real talk. But that's, that's for the people that's, that's for the older cats that Z is doing it. But for the ones that's not doing it, I just feel like, man, you should want to see a younger person prosper from doing it. You know what I'm saying? You should want to see them grow up. You should want to see them, you know what I'm saying, make it to the top, reach it. Like, even if they reach it past, Shoot, that's cool. You didn't help them, man. That's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? We is 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 the people that we are. You know what I'm saying? We gotta give it back. But like, like the South Twins, I ain't gonna lie, what they doing for Houston is pretty cool because they put a lot of the rappers on. Yeah. Like they got a lot of people from all over Houston, from Acres home to the South Side to the Southwest. They even going outside of Houston. Like they really putting people on. So what what what, what song y'all got out right now that y'all talking about? Yeah. I mean, we got a bunch of tracks that we've been recording over the last couple of months and like we just trying to make more music and put the new music together to depend on, to decide on the project. Yeah. Like I say, me and 1K, me and 1K just did that track, that Safari track. It's yeah. on, it's on, he dropped it on his channel, I'm finna drop it on mine. Safari is coming out for the wild summer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when summertime comes, it's drop. And visuals will be showing. Yeah, got shoot that music. Ooh, we just like okay. look for different people. Like yeah, it's different people. I know when I go out to Dallas, it's a dude named Fat Boy. Fat Boy Production. I, I think he was fucking. I think he said he was fucking with this nigga named um, Half Pay Fin. Half Pay Fin. So, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna say, man. Shout out to Pretty P, man, Long Live Pretty P, man. I'm looking for the manager, man. She died, you know what I'm saying? I'm the fourth, man. She's gonna forever live in my heart. Shout out to Square Busy, Jay Jacobs, he make my beats, man. Shout out to everybody, she went to my mama, man. She went to my nigga. Shout out to anybody that fuck with me, man. You can follow me at UTQuan underscore work gang on Instagram. Subscribe to me on YouTube, UTQuan, man. Just look me up, man. Real shit, man. Just, you fuck with me, I fuck with you at the end of the day. You look me up, King Ray, work gang, on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook.